Good afternoon, Cynthia. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me about yourself? Yes, ma'am. I'm Cynthia Angraan, living at Asahay Luna Apayao. My birth date was on December 1st, 1991. My father's name is Renaldo Agraan Sr. He is a carpenter. My mother's name is Corazon M. Agraan. He is a housekeeping mom. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? Because I want to help my family. Okay, why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because it is, it is not far in the city of Tucson. Okay, how are you qualified for this job? I'm hardworking, loyal, and honest. May I know what is your educational level? I'm high school graduate, ma'am. Okay, what is your recent experience? None, ma'am. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. Whose baby you taking care of? My brother's baby, ma'am. Okay, how about elderly people? Um, yes, too, ma'am. Whose elderly people you taking care of? My uncle. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Can you please tell me what is your special skills? Working. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? Um. I repeat, currently, are you still working now? No, no ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am. Like what? Like pinakbet. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores, which do you like most? Um, washing, cooking. Okay. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Ma'am? You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. It's okay, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to, to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer find out that you're abusing to use your handphone and has affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, yes. your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed for the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Um, How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Um, two years. Okay. Can you describe for me your ethics? Your attitude? 
ada di sini. I am good, kind. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I do my best, mom. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, mom. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, mom. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, mom. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, mom. Do you really understand of the rules and regulations of the agency? Yes, mom. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? Mom? Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, mom. Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? Not, mom. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you on any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Cynthia, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, number one. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? I will finish my contract, ma'am. Okay, number two, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm Cynthia, I'm Agulain, living at Baksay, Nuna Abayao. My father's name is Reynaldo M. Agulain, senior, he is a carpenter. My mother's name is Kurason and Agulain, he is housekeeping. I want to work in abroad because I want to help my family. Okay, Cynthia. What do you want to tell the employer who watching your video right now? Mom? Okay, I repeat. What do you want to tell the employer who watching your video right now? Thank you for choosing me, sir. And as I work, I will do my best. Okay. Thank you very much, Cynthia. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am.